Athletes must get a physical before participating in high school sports. Many will also be getting some new shoes. Now, doctors say picking the right ones could help prevent injuries. First News reporter Taylor Long tells you how to pick the right shoes. To prevent injuries during this upcoming fall sports season, it starts with the foot. You need a foot that doesn't move. I, I like to use words like you want a strong, stiff, stable foot. That means you need a strong, stiff, stable shoe. That type of shoe includes looking at three key parts of the footwear. One is the bottom, also known as the last. Having a straight last accommodates a high and low arch, bunion, and hammer toe. Second is to fold the shoe like you see here. A foot doesn't fold like that, so you don't want a shoe that can for athletics. And third, you dimple the heel of the shoe or press it together. You don't want a flimsy or flexible heel because it gives no stability underneath your leg. Now at Second Soul, they help you find the pair that's right for you. So we really take the time to analyze what it is you're going to be doing in the shoes and any injury history you might have or problems that you're currently having so we can help navigate uh, the best way to get you healthy and make sure you stay healthy doing the things you love to do, walking, running, just being out and being active. Dr. Williams says foot problems are pre-existing. They are quite literally in your bones and they don't just go away. He says they might not be curable, but they are manageable. And just like anything else, if you manage it, then it's livable, workable, you can play your sports. If you don't manage it, a poor foot will progress, get worse and worse and worse. So protecting the foot in an early age prevents injury later on down the line. You won't always be an athlete, but you're always going to want to move. You can find all types of the footwear we just talked about at any of your local retail stores. But for now, reporting in Boardman, Taylor Long, WKBN 27 First News.